Alright, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kasaligan Vlogs. And today we will be talking about expectation theorems of discrete random variables. So expectation theorems of discrete random variables, so the expected value of linear function can be calculated using the expectation theorems. So take note of these theorems because this will be applicable in our discussion uh, this day. Okay, so take note that this one is not equal. So by looking at our more examples, we can say that this is not applicable. So the expected, the expected is not is not squared is not equal to the expected uh, the x squared expected x squared. So this one is the square of x, then this one is expected square. Okay, the expected of x squared, and this one expected x squared. Okay, so a random variable has the following probability uh, distribution. So the expected value of a lin linear function can be calculated in expectations. But before applying to that, so let us solve using uh, not applying the expectation theorem so we can compare how it goes. Okay. So first is we need to find expected value. So first, so to find for the expected value, we need to multiply this x times the probabilities and so on. So 1 times 0 0.25 plus 2 times 0 0.26 plus 3 times 0 0.14, plus 4 times 0 0.35. So if we're going to make the expected value for this one, so this is 0 0.25 plus 0 0.52 plus 0 0.42 and plus 1.4. So the expected value is 2.59. Okay, so this is the expected value. Next is we need to have this. So 3x. So e, the e3x here, or the function of 3x. So we need to find the expected of when, when there is a, the, uh, there, when there's a number here preceded to this one, so 3x. So to find for that y, the expected 3x is equal to the summation of all x, 3x times the probability of each individual. So first is this one. So multiply. So 3 times 1 times 0 0.25 plus 3 times 2 times 0 0.26 plus 3 times 3 times 0 0.14 plus 3 times 4 times 0 0.35. So compute this one. So this is 0 0.75 plus 1.56 plus 1.26 and plus 4.2. So the expected 3x here is 7.77. .77. Expected x here, and this is for 3x. Next is finding this one. Expected 2x minus 4 of the function, uh, probability distribution function, 2x minus 4. So this one is we're going to multiply 
interesting. So 2 times 1 minus 4 times each probability 0 0.25 plus 2 times 2 minus 4 times the probability of 0 0.26 plus 2 times 3 minus 4 times probability of 0 0.14 plus 2 times 4 minus 4 times 0 0.35. So we are going to simplify. So the result for this one is this, 0 0.5, 2 minus 4, 2, 4 minus 4 is equal to 0, plus this one is 0 0.25 plus 1.4. So therefore, the expected of 2x minus 4 is 1.4. 80. Next is we need to find for the x squared. The expected x squared is equal to the function all x, x squared times the probability on each. Okay, so therefore we have here 1 squared times 0 0.25 plus 2 squared times 0 0.26 plus 3 squared times 0 0.14 and plus 4 squared times 35. Okay, so if we're going to multiply or simplify 0 0.25 plus 4 times 0 0.26 is 1.04 and this is 1.26 and this is 5.6 so the answer is 8.15 okay so by applying the expected rule so take note of the expected so this is 3 so we can have this one expected ax is equal to 8 times the expected or when there's a constant so if there's a constant we could have multiply this one so by applying so three times the expected of x so same rule so three times 2.59 is equal to 7.77 so same by applying the expected expectation theorems so same result here we could have this one as expected 2x minus 4 is equal to the same rule with this one is this 2 times the expected x plus or uh, minus 4 so therefore we could have 2 times 2.59 minus 4 this is 1.18 so the same result with this one if we're going to apply the expectation theorems okay but how but take note this is not applicable for because this is for linear function only so this one is x squared is not the same as when you're going to take this 2.59 squared this is this should not it, it will not result to 8.5 because according to the rule they are not equal okay this should not result so this is not equal when you square to get the expected of x squared okay let's have problem Cassie decides to play for a job selling mobile phones she receives a base salary of $200 per month and $15 for every mobile phone sold. The following table shows the probability of the particular number of mobile phone phones X being sold per month. What would be the expected salary Cassie would receive each month? So we're going to find the equation of this one. So since this is for every mobile phone sold, so therefore 15 X plus the constant of monthly of 200 per month so therefore this would be our equation linear functions 
So the linear function is expected 15x plus $200. So to find for this one, so we have here, we need first to find, apply the rule of expectations theorem. So we need to find for the summation of the product of this uh, x and prx. So we have here 50 for expected x in order for us to get this times 0 0.48 plus 100 times 0 0.32 plus 150 times 0 0.1 plus 200 times 0 0.06 plus 250 times 0 0.04. Simplify this, this will become 24 plus 32 plus 15 plus 12 and plus 10. So the result of this one is 93. So 93 applying the expected theorem, theorems, so we have here the expected of 215 x plus 200 is equal to same process with this one as 15 times the expected of x plus 200. So 15 times 93 plus 200 is equal to 15 1595. So 1595 1, dollars okay that would expect this solid case it will receive each month so that's the application of uh, expectation theorem so i hope you learn and you have to try this at home so these two problems so apply this one using the expectation theorems thank you for listening and hope you learned something today and please comment your answer and follow Casaligan Blocks. Thank you and more videos for this probability.